because it's affected a lot of families in New Zealand and a lot of young lives, and I think we owe it to them to remember. I don't try too hard, but they're probably the message. I try to concentrate on the comradeship and things that give hope and things like that rather than weapons and destruction. Yeah. Um, sometimes I get them just from objects that we have at home or sometimes I hear just a fragment of information or somebody tells me something. I'm always looking around for ideas and ideas are all around us. Uh, it was a very hard war, but it's the people. It's the people who were involved and how they managed to cope. I like, once again, it's people. I like to read books. I like biographies and autobiographies. And it's usually about a person or maybe a person's relationship with an animal. But um, it's usually something to do with people, emotions, uh, things like that. It means a lot more to me than it did when I was a child. When I was a child, I didn't really understand what Anzac Day was about. And it wasn't until I grew older and I looked at the monument in our hometown, which was Waipu, and I saw all the names of the pe young people who were killed and realised that sometimes there was two and three brothers who were killed from the same family, or maybe it could be father and son. And it really did get to me what a terrible loss of life there had been during that war. That we remember the sacrifice those people made, even though at the time they thought it was the war, the war to end all wars, and that was not true. We haven't succeeded yet, absolutely. And I have written a story, Remember That November, which is about peaceful resistance instead of fighting. Oh yeah, because you put my granddad's quote at the back of that, because my granddad's so full release. Oh, wow. <laughs> I passed his house today as I oh, came here, yeah. and I thought, how special. Yes, well, I mean, that is a story which means a lot to me, and I liked writing that because I really just hope that we can find peace. Yeah, I like that book. It's a good book. That's great.